What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix Twenty One back with yet another video. And if you know your boy, you know your boy loves Max Men, so let's get into it. So, like I said, if you know me, you know my favorite uh, X Men is Wolverine. But my favorite character from X-Men, period, is Magneto. I just love Magneto. The design for him is cool. Uh, he's as hardcore as it can be. Uh, just a really cool character, in, in my opinion. He has his flaws, <laughs> believe me. But uh, just a really cool uh, character, in my opinion. So, you know, when it comes to Magneto, I had to add some Magneto to my collection. And if you've already seen a, video, a couple of videos of some ones I already have in my collection, like the Zombie Magneto, which is really, really cool. This is a Funko Shop exclusive. And uh, I did a review for this one already, so I'll, uh, you can check that out. I'll try to put a card up here if I can remember. But yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of my collection. Price kind of skyrocketed on this one. Glad I was able to pick it up. So also have the Venomized Magneto, another one that uh, kind of went up in price out of nowhere. Uh, just a really cool pop overall. I did a video for this one as well, and I'll put a card up here if I can remember it. But yeah, this one is really, really cool. This is from uh, New York Comic Con uh, 2020. So yeah, pretty cool pop. So you know, your boy, when this one released, I had to pick it up. This is the Blacklight Magneto. Uh, just a really cool pop. When I, when I saw this one was announced, I said, yeah, I don't need the other ones. I don't need Gambit and Rogue, but I do definitely need uh, Magneto. So yeah, Magneto, Blacklight is really cool. Uh, I saw somebody, I can't remember who it was, say he's like a, a Simpsons version of uh, Magneto because he just has the yellow face, uh, which he really does. But uh, this is a really cool pop overall. I just like it. I love these black light pops. The, uh, the box design is really nice. The paint is really nice. Uh, I can't wait to do me a custom, which uh, I already told you all about. And uh, I'll be getting to that pretty soon. But uh, just a really cool pop overall. One that I really, really need in my collection. Definitely asked my Magneto collection. All that I need now is like the uh, the old school Magneto. The, uh, the original Magneto. So I definitely need to be looking for that one and uh, adding it to my collection soon. But let's get this bad boy out of the box, see how cool it is, and I'll be right back. So here we have the black light uh, magneto out of the box, and it is really, really cool, really simple, but really, really cool. I do love the flat colors on them, uh, how they made them look. The, they didn't go real crazy with the different colors. It's kind of just the purple, black, uh, the kind of magenta and uh, on his face, the yellow, a little bit of orange on it as well. So it, it, it's really cool, really striking, very true to his, true to his uh, costume as well because those are pretty much his colors. So, <laughs> yeah, I do like it a lot, though. I do like the kind of cell shading they did on them. Uh, like they do on all the black light pops, so they're just a really cool pop overall, and uh, one of them definitely cool. Again, glad to get in my collection. Not gonna be a long review here. I mean, uh, pretty much it is what it is with this. No paint flaws. I mean, they you would think they would not do paint flaws on this one because that is the whole purpose of it. It's just it's paint job. So <laughs> yeah, so just a really cool pop overall. Bobblehead as usual with Marvel Marvel pops. So yeah. Kind of an old school type uh, looking pop. Uh, the stance isn't really crazy or anything or anything modern or action pose or anything like that. Just a basic old fashioned stance. So yeah. So let's get this. Uh, well, before we get it on the rotator, let's check out the black light on it and see how it looks when it's glowing. I have most of my lights off and I want to check this guy out and see how cool it is. So let's see. Many trying to turn this blue light off as well. But yeah. You can kind of see how it's going pretty good. Um, there's a good view of it. I do like the way he's looking. I do wish like the black light ones glow like after you turn it off. But I mean that would be <laughs> a glow on the dark pop, not a black light one. But I like these a lot. Really cool pop. Uh, the yellow really, really is very striking on it. It shows up more than actually the pink, which is pretty cool. 
It reminds me a lot of the Spider-Man one with the colors, color scheme. Color scheme. Uh, I actually, I actually have the Spider-Man, so let's see. It's pretty similar to the Spider-Man in colors. The, the purple is the same. The pink is the same. Uh, the yellow with the eyes of Spider-Man is the same as the yellow for the face of Magneto. It's all around pretty much the same kind of colors they use on Spider-Man. They use on Magneto. So, just a really cool pop overall. One glad to get in my collection. But enough of all that. Let's get this gun rotated and end the video. Once again, this was the Magneto Blacklight Funko Pop. Really cool pop. Uh, definitely cool to get in my collection. Like I said, Magneto is one of my favorite characters, so I'm, I had to pick this one up. Uh, just a really cool pop overall. I love the concepts of these. I love the box art on them. The paint is used. Uh, no flaws at all with this one, which is has been expected of the uh, Blacklight Pops. I had any issues with these at all. Uh, Target had a really messed up release schedule with these, but hey, I was able to still track this down and add it to my collection so that's all that matters but that's all i got for you today make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell as well this is major 21 peace talk to y'all later bye